Do you know percentage point and how to calculate it in Excel? Let's see it in this video. I have this information here. Unemployment rate in country X increased from 5% in 2024 to 10% in 2025. So we need to calculate the percentage points. Now, first of all, we need to understand what is percentage point. The simple and easy to understand definition of percentage point is the arithmetic difference between two percentages. So when I click on this cell, that means when I need to calculate percentage point, I'm going to subtract the previous rate from the current rate. So let's do that. I'm going to do equals to the current rate, which is this one here, minus the previous rate, which is this one here. So when I hit enter, you can see it's giving me 5%. But percentage points are not percentages. What Excel is doing here, it's actually picking the percentage number format from here and applying it here. So we need to remove that percentage number format. So I'm going to click on this cell. I need to go to the home tab. Then from the number group, you can see the number format is percentages. But when I click on this drop down arrow, general is the option that's used to wipe away any number format. So when I click on general, you can see we no longer have that percentage symbol. So we need to multiply this number again by 100 in order for us to get the percentage point. So I'm going to hit the F2 key and then put this in bracket. I'm going to put this number here in bracket and then come to the end and then I need to multiply this by 100. And when I hit enter, I can now see this is 5 percentage points. That means the unemployment rate in country X increased by 5 percentage points in 2025. Now if you want to avoid that step of removing the percentage number format, you can do it like this. I'm going to do equals to the current rate which is this one here minus the previous rate which is this one here. Now before I hit enter, I'm going to multiply it by 100. So I'm going to put this in bracket, open bracket, come here, close bracket and multiply this by 100. Now when I hit enter, you can see we are getting our 5 percentage points without the percentage symbol. Assuming our numbers were not in percentages like this one here, we could just do something like this. Equals to the current rate, click this one, minus the previous rate which is this one, and when you hit enter, you get your percentage points.